Welcome to the Simplified Logic video tutorial on Nitrobomb. In this video, we will show how to rename a parameter. Okay, so I have this assembly, and you can see here that I've got a parameter diameter that is very badly misspelled for not only the top level assembly, but all of my components and models underneath of it. Renaming a parameter is very difficult. Actually, it's impossible. If I go take a look at my parameter list here and look for that parameter that's misspelled, there's Nothing here that I can do with it except delete it and recreate it. There is no rename function for parameter names. So what I'm gonna do is use Nitrobomb along with Excel to quickly delete the bad parameter and at the same time create the new one. But the key is to reuse the data and the values for all my models so that the data still stays the same. So I got Nitrobomb open now. I'm gonna click Export Reports. And you see I get my full summary bomb, my total components list, and my all parameters report, which correspond to the green checkboxes in Nitrobomb. And we're going to go back to the all parameters report, and I can see here the parameter diameter that's misspelled. So right next to it, I'm going to insert a column and copy and paste from the type double down to my last value. So I get exactly the same values in the second column. Now in the new column, I'm going to click in the cell and type in the correct name. And in the column where the bad parameter is, I'm gonna go up to the type and type in delete. Okay. Now, identify which models I wanna update by placing an X in every row, which in this case, I wanna update all my models and click import changes. And if I want, I can watch the log view in Nitrobomb. And now I'm gonna come over to my tree columns, model parameters, and now I see the good parameter diameter spelled correctly with the correct values. The data upon import gets rewritten back to the all parameters report, so you no longer see the incorrect spelling of diameter, you just have the, the correct spelling of diameter with the values. Now the full summary bomb in the total components list will still show the incorrect spelling till I go back to the export reports button and re-export. Now my bill of material worksheets have been updated. You can see the correct spelling here. And if I go to my total components list, you can see the correct spelling here. So that's how you can use the all parameters report to do a delete parameter and add parameter at the same time using the same values to essentially rename a parameter. Now one thing to make note of is if a parameter that has been misspelled is used in pro program or in a relation, in order to do the add delete, the line in pro program or in your relation that contains the misspelled parameter must be commented out. Then do the delete add function using Nitrobomb and Excel. Then replace the misspelled parameter in pro program or relations with the correct spelling. Then uncomment that line. Thanks for watching. Please check out other video tutorials from Simplified Logic or visit our website at simplifiedlogic.com.